हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी नाइन ऑन हाइपोथेसिस टेस्टिंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वन मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन हाइपोथेसिस टेस्टिंग एंड दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट इन जी टी यू विंटर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एग्जाम द क्वेश्चन इज फिट ए पॉइसन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर द फॉलोइंग डेटा एंड टेस्ट द गुडनेस ऑफ फिट हियर वी आर गिवन ए फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन the values of variable are 0 1 2 3 and 4 which are discrete values and we have given corresponding frequencies and we have to fit poisson distribution for this data and we have to test the goodness of fit of that assumed poisson distribution here the population distribution is not given or the population distribution is unknown and uh, they uh, they have asked to fit poisson distribution to the given data and uh, to check the goodness of fit of poisson distribution so our null hypothesis will be that given uh, data sample data follows poisson distribution and we have to test that null hypothesis now whenever we want to fit a poisson distribution to the given data Uh, we know that for poisson distribution we require one parameter which is lambda and it is nothing but mean of poisson distribution and here they have not given the mean of poisson distribution which we have to fit to the given data so whenever we are not given the mean of poisson distribution which we want to fit we have to take value of lambda as sample mean we have to estimate this parameter lambda using sample data and here we are given this uh, values of x and corresponding frequencies so we will estimate parameter lambda using sample mean and we are familiar with the formula of sample mean of frequency distribution x bar is given by sigma f times x divided by sum of all the frequencies so using this formula we will find out sample mean and we will consider sample mean as an estimator of population mean for given uh, for the poisson distribution which we want to fit so that will be the first step we have to do we have to find out the uh, population mean for poisson distribution now if this uh, data follows poisson distribution then we can find out the expected frequencies using the poisson distribution so for that we have to calculate probabilities for each value of x we will require these probabilities what is the probability that capital x takes the value 0 capital x takes the value 1 2 3 and 4 to find out these probabilities we will require the probability mass function of poisson distribution and uh, we know that pmf of poisson distribution is given by e raised to minus lambda times lambda raised to x divided by x factorial and possible values of x are starting from 0 and going up to infinity so whenever uh, we have poisson distribution to fit to the given data we must remember this formula for its pmf using this pmf with lambda estimated from sample mean we will be able to decide probabilities corresponding to each category of given variable now here one more thing we have to notice is that whenever we are talking about poisson distribution then range of poisson random variable is from close interval 0 to infinity so there is no upper bound here for values of x and here we are given values of x up to 4 so whenever we will calculate probabilities last probability will be probability that x takes the value 4 or more that is probability that capital x is greater than or equal to 4 and this we will calculate using the definition of complementary event probability that capital x greater than or equal to 4 is equal to 1 minus 
probability that x equal to 0 then probability that x equal to 1 probability that x equal to 2 and probability that x equal to 3 so keep in mind whenever we are calculating expected probabilities using the probability mass function and whenever we have Poisson distribution to fit to the given data for last category uh, we will not calculate probability that capital X equal to 4 instead of that we will consider probability that capital X equal to 4 or more that is probability that capital X takes the values 4 or greater than 4 uh, this we are doing because we are calculating expected probabilities and we know that Poisson random variable takes all non-negative values. So whenever I have fitted the Poisson distribution to the given data, this last probability is probability that capital X is greater than or equal to that value of variable. Here it is 4. So we will keep in mind this fact. And to calculate this probability, we will uh, consider subtraction of previous probabilities which we have calculated using this PMF. Now once we calculate probabilities then to find out expected frequencies we have to multiply these probabilities by total number of observations. Here total number of observations in the sample will be equal to sum of all the frequencies. Here sigma f is nothing but 220. So I have to multiply each of the probabilities which I have calculated using 220. So this probabilities times total number of observations will give me expected frequencies for each category or for each value of x and that we denote by capital E. So if our uh, data follows Poisson distribution then we have expected frequencies these are the frequencies from given sample so that we call as observed frequencies we can denote these observed frequencies by capital O or F suffix O and similarly here we can denote by capital E or F suffix E so if our data follows Poisson distribution then we expect these frequencies. Now if we want to check whether this data follows Poisson distribution then we have to check the deviation of all these observed frequencies from expected frequencies. So for that we have to find out the calculated value of test statistic which is given by sigma observed minus expected whole square divided by expected frequency we will consider this over all possible categories or all possible cells and uh, then we will compare this calculated value of test statistic with critical value at given level of significance and given degrees of freedom so if this calculated value of test statistic is greater than this critical value then we reject the null hypothesis otherwise we fail to reject the null hypothesis one more thing we recall is that once we calculate expected frequencies we should check that all the expected frequencies are greater than 5 if any expected frequency for any category is less than 5 then we have to combine that category with adjacent or neighboring category so that we have all the expected frequencies are more than 5 we have done one problem related to this in the goodness of fit test and this is second problem for fitting of Poisson distribution using goodness of fit test. I have written all the details systematically. I start with null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is that given population follows a Poisson distribution or suppose random variable for given population from which we have taken sample is denoted by capital X then we can write that capital X follows Poisson distribution or capital X is a Poisson random variable. Alternative hypothesis is negation of this statement which is 
capital X does not follow a Poisson distribution. Here level of significance is not given in the problem. So we consider alpha equal to 0 0.05. If level of significance is not given, then we take 5% level of significance. Now mean of assumed Poisson distribution is also not given. So we estimate mean lambda of the assumed Poisson distribution using sample data. The mean lambda of the assumed Poisson distribution is unknown and must be estimated from the sample data. So I have calculated sample mean using the formula capital X bar equal to sigma f into x divided by sigma f. So for that I have to multiply this x and f values and then I have to take their summation and divide by sum of all the frequencies which is 20, 220 here. So sigma fx divided by sigma f, sigma fx is 149, sigma f is 220 and sample mean becomes 0.6773 and this we consider as lambda or mean of Poisson assumed Poisson distribution. So we, we are estimating population mean lambda using sample mean and we consider lambda equal to 0.6773. Now if null hypothesis is correct, what is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is that capital X is a Poisson random variable. So if null hypothesis is correct, capital X is a Poisson random variable and the probability mass function of Poisson random variable is given by this formula e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x over x factorial value of lambda is 0.6773 that we substitute here and we obtain this probability mass function and we calculate probabilities corresponding to each value of x using this probability mass function so we call those probabilities as expected probabilities the expected probabilities are calculated using this probability mass function as follows first we take x equal to 0 so here this quantity remains constant e raised to minus 0.6773 here we take x equal to 0 divided by 0 factorial this is going to be 0 this is also this is going to be 1 0 factorial is 1 and we are left with e to the power minus 0.6773 which turns out to be 0 0.5080 then we put x equal to 1 so here I have to put x equal to 1 then 1 factorial and using scientific calculator I have obtained this probability as 0.3441 probability that capital X assumes value 1 is 0.3441 similarly I have taken x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 and I obtain corresponding probabilities. This is for x equal to 2. Here x is 2, 2 factorial. Probability that capital X equal to 2 becomes 0.1165. Same thing for probability that capital X equal to 3. And uh, it is 0 0.0263. Now we will not calculate probability that capital X equal to 4. Because we have assumed that capital X is a Poisson random variable uh, we will calculate probability that capital X is 4 or more that is probability that capital X is greater than or equal to 4 and this is using the definition of complementary event this is equal to 1 minus probability that X is less than 4 that means possible values of X are 0, 1, 2 and 3 and I have to take addition of all those previous probabilities and I will obtain probability that capital X is greater than or equal to 4. This is 1 minus probability that capital X is less than 4. Capital X is less than 4 means possible values are 0, 1, 2 and 3. That means I have to take addition of all these probabilities which I just calculated. I am adding all these probabilities and subtract them from 1 and uh, I obtain probability that capital X greater than or equal to 4 is 0 0.0051.
and I have written all these expected probabilities in this table. First column is for number of categories. There are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or more. These are different categories or values of given variable x. These probabilities I just calculated that I have written here. And then I have calculated expected frequencies corresponding to each cell by multiplying each of these probabilities by total number of observations which are 220 sigma f that is total number of observations in this sample data are 220 so i multiply each of these probabilities by 220 and uh, i obtain these expected frequencies if we want to cross check whether all these frequencies are correct or not we can take summation of all these frequencies and it must be equal to 220 here i have calculated all these expected frequencies and if i take their sum i obtain exactly 220 that is that is my calculations are correct now once we calculate expected frequencies we should check whether there is any frequency which is less than 5 so here you can observe that this frequency in the last cell is less than 5 so I have to combine this last category with its previous category I have to combine these two categories because this is less than 5 and remaining are greater than 5 so I have to combine this in this way my last cell will be now 3 or more that means I will add these two and uh, I have to add these two frequencies for observed data also. So this is very important uh, step whenever you calculate expected frequencies you must check that whether there is any expected frequency which is less than 5. If you find out any expected frequency less than 5 then you combine that expected frequency with adjacent frequencies. So here I have written the expected frequency in the last cell is less than 5 and hence we combine the last two cells and we take addition of these two that becomes 6.908 and uh, instead of these two cells now I have written 3 or more last cell is 3 or more and in the data also in the given sample data also we have to combine last two cells and here i have four and one in the last two cells so i take addition of these two frequencies which is five so that also i take into consideration here i have written all these details five and these are the last expected frequencies combined from the previous table now I have observed frequencies, expected frequencies and now we can see the number of categories are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that means small k is 4. Small k is the number of categories or number of class intervals or number of cells for final table. Now next step is to calculate the value of test statistic. For that we will take difference between observed and expected frequencies we take square of the difference and divide by corresponding expected frequency so that i have calculated here test statistic is chi square equal to sigma observed minus expected whole square divided by expected so for first cell we have 112 minus 111.76 square divided by expected frequency 111.76 for second cell 73 observed minus 75.70 t expected divided by 75702 for third cell 30 minus 25.63 whole square divided by 25.63 and for last cell 5 minus 6.908 whole square divided by 6.908 and I calculate all these quantities using my scientific calculator up to 4 decimal places 
and I obtain the calculated value of test the stick as 1.3690. Now once we calculate test statistic, now the next step is to identify the critical regions or rejection regions. Now we recall that chi-square goodness of fit test is almost always right tailed test. Therefore, we consider the area alpha in the right tail and to use chi-square table we will require number of degrees of freedom we recall that number of degrees of freedom are given by this formula for goodness of fit test k minus p minus 1 where k is the number of categories for given problem small p is the number of parameters of the population which we are estimating from sample data here number of categories are four i just mentioned here there are four categories and we are estimating population mean using sample data. The mean of assumed Poisson distribution is estimated by sample mean. So we are estimating only one population parameter from sample data. Therefore value of small p is 1. And therefore number of degrees of freedom are k minus p minus 1. That is k equal to 4, p equal to 1 minus 1. Therefore we have 2 degrees of freedom. And level of significance is alpha equal to 0 0.05. Therefore, we have to find out chi-square critical value at 0 0.05 level of significance and 2 degrees of freedom. So, for that we are using chi-square table. Here we have this type of situation. We are familiar with the shape of chi-square distribution. It is like this. And we are considering 0 0.05 area in the right tail and we are interested in chi-square 0 0.05 with 2 degrees of freedom. We are interested in this point and uh, level of significance is 0 0.05. So all these are level of significance and we are interested in 0 0.05 level of significance or area to the right of critical value is 0 0.05 and 2 degrees of freedom this left column is for degrees of freedom we are interested in 2 degrees of freedom therefore we take intersection of this row corresponding to 2 degrees of freedom and this column corresponding to alpha equal to 0 0.05 and uh, we find out the point of intersection of these two lines and if I remove these two lines I obtain that my critical value is nothing but 5.991 so if uh, our calculated value of test statistic is greater than this value then we are in rejection region and we will reject the null hypothesis and if it is on this side then we will not be able to reject the null hypothesis. So that I have written here. Using chi-square table, I have chi-square critical value is equal to 5.991 and this is the figure for chi-square table. This point is 5.991 critical value. Area to the right of this critical value is rejection region. This is non-rejection region. And what is calculated value of test statistic? It is 1.3690. So you can see 1.3690 is less than 5.991 and it will be to the left side of this point. Suppose it is somewhere here. So this is chi-square test statistic value 1.3690 and you can see it is in non-rejection region. So therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now chi-square calculated value of test statistic is less than 5.991 therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis and null hypothesis is that capital X follows a Poisson distribution and what is alternative hypothesis is that capital X does not follow a Poisson distribution. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis 
therefore we can write our conclusion in this way there is no evidence at the 5% level of significance to suggest that capital x does not follow a poisson distribution so in this way we can easily apply goodness of fit test to fit a given distribution to the given sample data whenever we are applying goodness of fit test we don't know what is the uh, probability distribution of given population so we assume that given population follows some population some probability distribution and then we test the goodness of fit for that distribution using this chi square test so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching